Hey, 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 Marianne here, the Crotchety Clogger. How's it going for you? It's going pretty good for me. Um, where shall I start? Let's see. I think I should start at the beginning. <laughs> okay, so July 2024 is soon to come to a close. We have, what, another week, week and a half maybe? I don't even know what the date is today. It is the third week of July, though, 2024, and it is what I have dubbed Holly Jolly July for me and my friend Louisiana Lynn. So what we did, we exchanged some scraps for our Christmas in July um, adventure, and we both have projects on the hooks with the so-called scrap balls that we have exchanged with each other. It's been quite fun. And I'm actually considering doing this somehow, some way more often than just July, uh, holly jolly July. But anyway, let's get back to the point because I have enjoyed doing this. I love surprises. I mean, who doesn't? Well, I guess some people don't, <laughs> but I do. Okay, so let's get on with this. Um, So, let's see. Where shall I start? Okay, so last week, the scraps that we picked are all in here, except for one that is all gone and done, and I didn't save any of it. Yeah, here it is. Uh, yeah, but anyway, let me just show you the squares. Uh, oh, and let me show you this little bag here. I've enjoyed using my uh, Christmas bags. And this says, this is an Aaron Lane bag. This says, don't get your tinsels in a tangle. And I would like to thank Julie from Kept in Stitches with Julie. We did um, a little swap, uh, Zoom Sisters, uh, several, I don't know how many, it's been years. <laughs> it's been years. It don't seem like years. But thank you, Julie. This was in my swap with Julie. I love it. Don't get your tinsels in a tangle. Anyway, yes. So let me show you some squares that I made. So if you were, if if you've been following along, um, last week was kind of funny, and the weeks before were kind of funny. It was like I was picking all the marled at one time out of the Santa sack, and then last week I was like picking a bunch of pinks. <laughs> so yeah, this is pretty cool. Look. I made, I made several of these. One, two, three. One, two, three, four of these. <laughs> oh, and me and Lynn was on Zoom last week as I was starting to do some of these. And here's one. I said, doesn't that look like a, a yummy lemon square, lemon cake square with uh, like cherry icing or strawberry or strawberry or something. Anyway, yeah, so I made a few of these. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then I like this one too. I like them. A couple of them. Here's a pretty combo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One, two of them. And oh, that other one, the other way. Uh -huh, uh -huh. A couple of them. And here's a, here's a nice little strawberry cream cake. <laughs> Y'all getting hungry? Yes. And then also, so I still have to put these together, but I'm going to need several more if I want to do it the same size. Uh, yeah, and that's another thing. See, my friend Susan, who volunteers at the Forsyth Humane Society, that's where these squares are going. They are going to be sewn all together into little pads for kitty cats or, or even doggies. But right now, I think they're going to use them in the kitty cat parts. So, yeah, I'm making little kitty cat pads. Okay, one thing I did discover last night. As I, I, uh, uh, I discovered that I bordered these things in such a way, well, maybe I'll get to that later, but I'm afraid I'll forget. No, let me go ahead. Uh, yeah, I bordered them in such a way, I was kind of just going right along with how to do a solid square, right? Yeah, I wouldn't consider this a granny square by any, well, like, I mean, what's a granny square? A granny square is a square that uses the granny cluster, or granny stitch, which is like a cluster, correct? So, I wouldn't call this a granny square per se. It's it's a, because it's solid, and it's made with du uh, double crochets and treble crochets, 
with the trebles being in the corners, right? And so I just kind of went along the same like idea patterning for the border, which is single crochet. And then I used double crochet in the corner with that same idea, like double to triple or double to treble and single to double. Well, look at this one. Now I did this one with the, um, uh, Lynn sent me one, one scrap, which was really a whole, just about a whole cake. Anyway, it was kind of rainbowy, so I did some like this. Now look at this one comparatively. Hmm. Let me find another. I want to find one that you can really see the difference. Yes. Yeah. You see? You see the difference in those corners? So instead of, I should have known, I don't know why I didn't think about it. Instead of doing single to double, single, single, double, single, single, I should have done single, single, half double. It looks better on the corner with the half double, doesn't it, rather than the double. But anyway, you live and learn. So I think my corners look better with the half double instead of the double. They don't look so pointy. So, yeah, so I learned that, and I did make, I did put, how many is this? Let me count how many squares this would be. One, two, three, four, five, I think by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, five by six, so 30 squares. So, yeah, I did put one together. I did. But there's something, and I bordered the entire thing with the single crochets. And um, and here again, I got them real pointy corners. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I think the kitty cats or the puppy dogs will like it. But what I want to do, um, I'm gonna stop right there, uh, and I'll I'll talk a little bit more in, in a second about my end of it. Let's look and see, or let's discuss what Lynn, Louisiana Lynn, is doing because she's got a super duper idea for using up scraps other than just you know squares that you got to sew together so it, it is well anyway let me just show you the picture first here it is here it is Now, isn't that neat? That is a, it looks like a patchwork, right? And it is a pattern called the rainforest pattern. And the cool thing about that, so she's making a blanket. She's part of the uh, Boggy Creek Blanket Brigade, y'all. If you haven't heard uh, from She's Got Yarn 2 um, uh, in Florida, they're doing a uh, blanket big brigade for the Boggy Creek. If you'll go check out um, her channel, if you hadn't heard that, and I'm sure if 99.9% .9 of y'all have heard about the Boggy, Boggy Creek blanket brigade, right? So yeah, that's what Lynn's doing. But this rainforest uh, pattern stitch is so cool because it like, as you're doing it, you're like attaching to the actual, you make strips and you're actually attaching to it as you go, which is really cool. Makes me want to try it, Lynn. It does make me want to try it. Yeah, so anyway, all right. Uh, what else did I want to talk to you about? I showed you the picture of Lynn's blanket as it's coming, Rainforest blanket. Okay, and uh, yeah, I just, I, 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 can't I just sewed it together, which is I mean it's fine. I, I used I guess it's a whip stitch. I don't know. It looks okay to me. I don't care. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, I have more to go. And um what I plan on doing is I want to make I remember something that Madonna Ballard said a long time ago when she made her little kitty cat some some little blanket pads she double layered them so they'd be a little more cushy. So I at first thought I would just make enough squares, like I'd make two of these and sew them together. Well, in 
And then I got to thinking, hmm, there's got to be another way. And then I thought, well, I'll just take this Aaron color. This is called Aaron. It's like an off-white uh, red heart stuff. And I'll just attach to it and do a whole nother like off-white backing and crochet. And it's half doubles or doubles all the way or half doubles all the way. And I thought, no, this would be a prime opportunity to do something else. And so I'm gonna uh, stick in this little video here that I took. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> hey, everybody. Look what I got going on here. I figured it out after a few uh, practice patience with practicing <laughs> figured out broke out my uh, knitting mill or knitting machine whatever you want to call it uh, which guiltily I have not used bought it some time ago and uh, with the intent on learn wanting to learn how to uh, hand crank out some flat panels and, uh, yeah, I broke it out last night and, oops, got to pull out some more yarn here. And, uh, eh, like I said, after a lot of patience and practice, I think I figured it out. Now, I don't know how to cast off yet, <laughs> but I've learned how to hold that tension properly, I think. Now, this, uh... This is a prim knitting machine, P-R-Y-M, a prim maxi, and uh, I, I decided uh, to purchase this one because of the reviews that it got uh, uh, in regards to uh, handling lighter weight yarns which i think i will have more success on a knitting machine as opposed to crocheting finer weight yarns all right and and yeah it just stops once it gets past your uh darker colored needle i'm assuming it would work on the same and then and then you go and you crank it the other way to go back around for the flat panel but um what i've learned is that you have to be sure that these end pieces here are down low and down in there that they're going to catch and then holding your tension this has a tension guard down here but I found that it's just more, I don't know, as long as I pull enough yarn out of the skein here or whatever I'm using, I found that it's much more beneficial for me to just feel it and hold it myself. So I'm kind of, instead of holding the handle, the directions tell you to hold the handle with one hand and crank with the other, but I don't, I don't know. I just feel better holding the tension myself. So then we go back the other way and we hold the tension on that there a little bit more so that it has a cleaner, cleaner edge. Now I said all that and watched something happen. So I'm kind of, instead of holding it with my, maybe I can figure out the tension and hold the handle as well. I don't think so because then the yarn will be, and then it'll stop over here. Okay, and I make sure everything is down and under and not over anything. And we hold tension more. Oopsie, see that's the difficulty. If I could, this is my dining table and currently the only area I have to do this. So <laughs> it's not like I can affix this machine to the table. Wish I could push that down a little more so that it doesn't accidentally go up. See, that was a little looser there, see? Alright, so we hold that. 
sweet. I think patience is key, huh? Oh, good. I need to pull some more out. So I'm going to continue on with this, and and uh, maybe I'll have some fun playing here. So what do you think? It will make me a big old panel. Keep your fingers crossed that it works out. <laughs> will make me a big old panel and sew it to the back of this and border it up. I'm excited. Okay, so next week, oh, we gotta pick some colors. Jeez Louise, I totally forgot about picking some more colors for this week. Okay, so we got some more squares to make. I need to put these ones aside for a whole pet pad, um, cause I'm gonna start doing them now with that different corner with the half double. So I need to set them aside so it's not to get them mixed up. Okay, so we have one more week of balls to pick, mystery balls and squares to make. Although I say one more week, there will be another week of our Holly Jolly July. So let's see what we got. We're gonna pick I mean, how many do I have left? I don't know. I don't even know. I think I should just go ahead and pick the rest of them, right? Well, here's one. I got a hold of one. Oh, it's a pretty blue. It's a baby blue. All right, we're looking. We're looking at a a, a kitten blanket here, <laughs> or a kitten pan. Okay, baby blue. What else we got? Okay. Not looking. Not looking. First one I came to. Oh, it's a tan. A tan color. Neutral. Come on now. Please don't be attached to anything else. Okay. 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 <laughs> this has been fun. I've enjoyed it. Okay. This is a big old sack for not a lot of balls. Okay, number three. Oh, is that a brown? Yes. Oh, what about that? Three. We have a brown color. Let me count how many balls are left in here. I think I was picking seven or eight. Oh, that's okay. I'll just get it. Oh, it's soft. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that's a rainbow. Oh, that's pretty. I know what this is. I know what this is. What's the name of this? Oh, Rockstar. No. Oh, it's kind of like happy. It's kind of like happy, but it's rainbow, rainbow rock star. I don't know. What is this called? It's one of Madonna's favorites. <gasps> look, look, look. Oh, love it. Love it, love it. Wander up so we can pick another one. Oh. But they're still past, they're still like, oh, this is going to be pretty. Okay. Okay. All right, how many was that? That was four. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick the rest of them. I'm not gonna dump them out though, I'm just pick them out. Be surprised. <laughs> Oopsie, here's another pinky. <laughs> That's okay. It's gonna look good, oh my God. Okay, I, pull, I pulled something out. That was a, it's okay. 
How many was that? Five. I think it's going to be eight. <gasps> Ooh, look. This is very bright. I like that. It's got orangey and pinky. Ooh, and I see a... Uh, Ooh, look at that fuchsia down below. It gets darker. <laughs> okay. That's six. There should be seven or eight left, and I, I think I feel eight. That's okay. Okay, so here's a pretty yellow. Pale yellow. Kittens. It's so weird that it worked out this way. I think I, think I see a nice, bright mosaic of colors on on some of these paths and i see pinks and what seems to me like a younger like maybe kittens <laughs> or puppies little puppies baby puppies okay so we have a pale yellow we'll have the camera go oh is that it no there's one more there's one more <gasps> oh like a pink Beachy, beachy. Mm -hmm. And this Santa sack came from Dory, gifted me this big old Santa sack. Okay, so I'm going to switch up and we're going to look at these colors and see how we can put them together. Be right back. All right, so let's see what we got. We'll put all these colors to, out here to see. And we'll see what we can put together. Just like we have the flower. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. That feels so good. Okay. So, eight, two, four, six, eight. Okay. What can we put together? It's all kinds of possibilities here. Let's see. Well, it just stands to reason that these two might go together. Or, yeah. I think that's the threads from our Santa set. These two would go together. Oh, or we could always put, well, you know, brown and coral is nice. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Yeah, I like that. Brown and coral. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. All right, and then the tan. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. 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 But this is so pretty. This could be all by itself, honestly. Or it could go with that. Or it could go with that. Or it could go with that. It could go with... Or it could go with that. Or it could be by itself. Doesn't matter. i tell you what. Let's put the pink and tan together. Or this kind of a purpley fuchsia-y with the tan. Let's do that. And if I hope I remember that, and then these two, that's just got to be there. And then we'll do these two. Yeah. That's what we'll do. Okay. All right. So I'll see you next week one more time, folks. Um, I'll show you what, hopefully, like I said, cross my fingers, what, cross your fingers, that I get those flat panels successfully uh, off of the, the knitting mill and uh, sewn to the back side of this so that we can, that is the back side, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm showing you the back side. Uh, sewn to the back side of this and bordered it and, and it'll be... Uh, like I said, something I've always kind of wanted to play with and do. So, it'll be a good opportunity to do so and to practice uh, doing a mixed media for me. You know, uh, I'll be at machine knitting. It's not like real knitting. I mean, by hand. But anyway, I bought the machine. I need to figure out how to use it and enjoy it. All right, folks. We'll see you soon. Bye.